Hello and welcome back to This Week at Endicott. I'm Maya Drard. And I'm Eddie Fitzgerald. Let's take a look at what's happening across campus this week. On Wednesday at 5.30 p.m., head over to the LSB Auditorium as Industry Night presents Best Places to Work. Come talk to some employers and make connections that could help you in your future job searches. At 6 p.m., there will be an alternative spring break information session in the stage room of Lower Callahan. At 8 p.m., the Autism and ABA organization will be having its first meeting at LSB 128. Contact CORES716 at mail.endicott.edu with any questions. Also at 8 p.m., there will be a Find Your Flock meeting in the amphitheater near the fire pit. Come get fired up to get involved and make s'mores with student leaders who are involved with various organizations around campus. Also on Wednesday, volunteers are needed for food deliveries to the River House Homeless Shelter. 30 minutes and a vehicle are all it takes to do your part in the fight against hunger. These deliveries will be running at 8 p.m. Wednesday through Friday and 7 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Check your Blue Buzz for more information to sign up. On Thursday at 7.45 a.m., stop at the LSB lobby for some delicious coffee and donuts with academic success. At 3 p.m., there will be a meditation mini class in the chapel. Stop by and relieve your stress by learning how to do a 10-minute powerful meditation. At 4.30, head over to Beverly Council for their aging game night. Spend some quality time with the elder adults and play some good old-fashioned board games. You can sign up to volunteer through your Blue Buzz email. At 5 p.m., support AH and LA by purchasing a raffle calendar for $5. You have 23 chances to win prizes valued at $50. This fun raffle will be held in Callahan Dining. Are you interested in radio or even pr producing your own radio show? At 5.30, stop by AC261 to find out how you can produce your own radio show with EC Radio. At 8 p.m., Late Night Loca presents National Taco Day with the movie Coco, along with Tasty Tacos. At 9 p.m., it is 21 plus night in gullies. On Friday at 7.45 a.m., start the day off right with more coffee and donuts in the LSB lobby brought to you by Academic Success. At 9 a.m., the Community Giving Tree is looking for volunteers to help sort donations and work with local service partners to distribute the essentials to local families in Milton, Mass. Sign up to volunteer through your Blue Buzz email. At 2 p.m., more volunteers are needed for a landmark happy hour. Tasks include setup, serving snacks and drinks, engaging with residents, and cleanup. For more information and to sign up, check out your Blue Buzz email. At 4 p.m., head over to Hempstead Stadium to cheer on your fellow goals as women's soccer takes on Roger Williams. At 6 p.m., the Fieldhouse will be hosting a pickleball game. Come and try out the fastest growing sport in America. All equipment and instructions are provided. At 6 p.m., check out Friday Night Happenings, a themed drop-in event that takes place every night. This Friday, Northeast Arc is looking for volunteers to help out in Danvers. Northeast Arc delivers lifelong support to people with developmental disabilities. Sign up to volunteer through your Blue Buzz email. At 8 p.m., Gullies is hosting a cornhole tournament. Grab some of your friends and create your own team. You can sign up using the link in your Blue Buzz email. On Saturday at 10 a.m., volunteers are needed for the PBD for Peace 5K, taking place in PBD Mass. Email pbdforpeace at gmail.com to sign up. Throughout the day, many of the Endicott athletes will be competing. Starting at 11 a.m., women's volleyball will be playing Plymouth State in the McDonald Gymnasium. At noon, football will be going head-to-head -head with Nichols at Hempstead Stadium. After the football game, head back up to McDonald Gymnasium to watch women's volleyball again as they take on Babson. Lastly, at 5 p.m., men's soccer will be playing Roger Williams at Hempstead Stadium. Good luck to our fellow athletes. On Sunday at 7 p.m., there will be another opportunity to try your hand at pickleball in the field house. Grab your friends and head over to see what this sport is all about. Think you may be interested in joining the women's rugby program? Contact head coach Carly Baker at carlybond92 at gmail.com or club sports coordinator Lance Green at lgreen at endicott.edu. There's no classes on Monday as the college is closed in observation of the Columbus Day holiday. Enjoy your free time, girls. On Tuesday at 5 p.m., Kate Bolick, author of the New York Times bestseller, Spinster, Making a Life of One's Own, will be giving a public talk in the LSB Auditorium. On Sunday, October 14th, there will be a walk to defeat ALS on campus beginning at 10.30 a.m. You can sign up to walk or volunteer through your Blue Buzz email.
Endicott is currently looking for more Your With Us mentors to spend two to three hours a week working with individuals to help them have a better sense of belonging and to be their friend and supporter. If you are interested or are looking for more info, click the link in the blue buzz. And now let's send it over to sports with Rachel and Sarah. Hello girls and welcome to the EC Sports Recap. I'm Rachel Galante. And I'm Sarah Stockbridge. Here's how your teams have performed this past week. The Endicott men's cross country team posted an 11th place finish out of 19 teams at the Bowdoin Invitational on Saturday afternoon. The Endicott women's cross country team posted a 10th place finish out of 18 teams at the Bowdoin Invitational on Saturday afternoon. The Endicott field hockey team traveled to Nichols College on September 25th and came away with a 4-0 shutout victory to remain perfect in conference play so this far this season. Student athlete Taylor Farron was named CCC Defens Defensive Player of the Week. Behind a season high 555 yards on offense, the Endicott football team routed Curry College 52-22 on September 29th at Walter M. Katz Field. Student athletes Jay McManaway, William Rivera, and Nick DiCarano have all earned CCC Football Weekly Awards. The Endicott golf team competed in the 2018 UNE Invitational on September 25th and finished fourth in the six-team field. The Gulls finished with a team score of 315, three strokes behind UMaine Farmington's third place score of 312. The Endicott women's soccer team edged out Castleton 2-1 in double overtime on September 29th. With the win, Endicott improves to 4-3-4 overall while Castleton falls to 3-7-0 on the season. Playing for the second time in less than 24 hours, the goals were dominant again, outshooting the Spartans 23-8 in the match, including a 9-2 edge in shots on goal. Endicott men's soccer student athlete Jesse Martinez was tabbed as CCC Offensive Player of the Week. Martinez netted the game-winning goal during both Endicott contests this past week. He had the lone tally in a 1-0 victory over Johnson and Wales on September 26 and then added a goal in double overtime at Nichols on September 29 to give the girls a 2-1 edge. The Endicott women's tennis team defeated Curry College 9-0 on September 29 as 12 different goals registered wins in the matchup against the Colonels. And following a 3-0 week that included wins over two regionally ranked opponents, the Endicott women's volleyball team swept the weekly CCC awards. For their efforts in guiding Endicott to the undefeated week, Amanda Gilbert, Mackenzie Ken Kennedy, and Emma Mancini were recognized with Rookie of the Week, Libero of the Week, and Player of the Week honors, respectively. That's all we have to report this week, goals. Get out there and support your teams. Last week, students gathered at the Frady's Quad to acknowledge the L ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Jenna was on scene. This is Jenna Brown from ECTV. I'm here in the Frady Squad for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. This is Michaela. Can you tell us a little bit about why you're here? I'm here to support the Frady's family and conquer a cure for ALS. Thank you very much. Well, thank you all for coming out for the annual Ice Bucket Challenge. We are so honored and so proud of this amazingly beautiful um, hall that um, your, my friend and your uh, president, uh, Doc Wiley, was so um, formidable in the, in the impetus for having this happen. So here's to Pete, and here's to you guys getting wet. Thank you. We also would like to thank um, Rob Ackerman, you know, he's a junior. He will now give a demonstration of what he has been doing to raise funds for ALS. chilly but we're here with some more girls can you tell us why you came out today to support ALS do you want to introduce yourselves uh, Abby Skarin Skylar Carr Alexa Brown Kylie Middleton 
back to the desk. That's all we have for this week, girls. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.